Many years ago, I was practicing law at a firm in Salt Lake City. One morning, I was running very late. I parked just as a train pulled into the station, and I rushed onto the closest car. To my surprise and delight, I found the car completely empty. But as soon as I sat down, I understood why. An elderly man in worn and heavily soiled clothes sat slumped and crumpled on the floor at the opposite end of the car. My heart ached for him. Some part of me wanted to help him, but I didn't know how. I wavered too long. A man, dressed as if he too had a job downtown, entered the car near where the old man sat. Instead of turning around and finding a different car as many others had done, he reached down, pulled the man up toward him, wrapped his arms around him, and gently helped him off the train. I don't know what happened after that, but the rescuer did not get back on the train. He likely didn't make it to work that morning. He probably got his clothes dirty. He got physically close and gave of himself. I wish I had had the courage to do that, but I'm also grateful for that lesson. Loving our neighbor requires getting close to our neighbor and giving of ourselves. In Spanish, the term for love of neighbor is amor al prójimo, or love of the one who is in proximity. The term prójimo connotes a physical closeness and personal touch that neighbor simply fails to capture for me. We follow the Good Samaritan's example not by abstractly loving from afar, but by truly connecting and spending time with each other, by genuinely giving of ourselves. It is our responsibility to find our brothers and sisters who feel marginalized and out of place. I have watched my students babysit the children of a fellow student who was a single parent while she studied, befriend, love, and rally around a classmate who was gay, carry books and open doors for a fellow student with a disability, and comfort an undocumented immigrant student whose status and future in the country was uncertain. We are here to love our brothers and sisters, friends and strangers alike.